Hey, this is Jason Moss, and we are having another edition of our Manufacturing Success in Georgia book tour interviews. And I'm really excited to be here at Kia, Georgia in LaGrange. Uh, Kia has been really involved with GMA for many, many years. And uh, today we're here to talk to Chris a little bit about, he, Chris is the Chief Administrative Officer at, at Kia Motors, uh, Kia, Georgia. Apologize, I'm still still working on the old name, but hey, we're going to get through that. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on here at Kia. So with that, what I'd like to do is, Chris, I want to just toss this over to you, and I'd like you to tell us um, who you are, what your role is here, and a little bit about your background. Sure. First of all, welcome to Kia, Georgia. Uh, my background is uh, now uh, up to 35, or almost 35 years in automotive. Okay. Uh, I uh, started uh, at uh, in Central Illinois at Mitsubishi Motors uh, many years ago. I uh, was there over 10 years, moved to uh, uh, Alabama to work for Mercedes-Benz uh, for 10 years, and now I uh, had the pleasure of coming to, uh, at that time, Kia Motor Manufacturing Georgia, now Kia Georgia. <laughs> Okay, well, that, that sounds good. Well, that, that, that kind of opens us up for our first uh, topic of conversation. Sure. I'm familiar with Kia Motors Manufacturing Georgia. I got that drilled into me for, for several years. When we hosted our first um, Georgia Manufacturing Summit, we had uh, Randy Jackson, uh, was Chief Administrator Officer at the time, and he came in. He was our, one of our first keynote speaker at GMA and did a fantastic job. And during that process, I learned that it was Kia Motors uh, Kia Motors Manufacturing Georgia, KMMG, and now the new brand new title. Tell us a little bit about that. Tell us what's going on in that space. Well, with regards to the brand new title, uh, it, it falls in line with our uh, what we call Plan S, and that is our uh, plan to take us into the next 10 years of our uh, business model. Okay. So Kia Motor Manufacturing Georgia We've dropped the motor and the manufacturing out of that, simply now to Kia, Georgia. We are now a mobility solutions provider versus a car manufacturer. While we are still manufacturing automobiles, the whole industry is creating a paradigm shift towards the electrification of vehicles. This positions us very well within that shift. Okay, so it's... So it's more than just, just manufacturing cars. It's, you, you're going to be able, that gives you the flexibility to address a lot of the needs in the automotive industry, right? That's correct. Our future plans are not only electric vehicles, but as well uh, some alternative type vehicles. Well, one of the things that I have always been just so impressed with is Kia's involvement in the community. You know, it's been, you know, so many times you see manufacturers uh, that are so focused on just making their parts and products and don't really get as involved in supporting uh, local initiatives and that sort of thing. But uh, for, for some of the folks that are, that are new to Kia, just getting introduced here, what are some, uh, give us, a, give us a, uh, highlights of some of the things that you guys have done over the years uh, to support the community. We're very pleased and honored uh, to support, uh, for example, AWIM, A World in Motion, uh, as well, the Think Academy. Mm -hmm. Also, too, working with the uh, uh, technical uh, college system of Georgia. We have uh, uh, entered into a sponsorship with uh, Green Power USA. Green Power, okay. Tell me a little bit more about Green Power. What's, what's that? It's a great initiative for uh, middle school students uh, to become involved with the uh, building and racing of purely electric vehicles. Really? I yes. bet that's fun. It is. It's yeah. exciting to watch these young people. Okay, and you guys have been involved in a variety of STEM type engagements in the past, right? First robotics, am I am I making that right connection? Yes, actually, uh, we uh, when we first partnered with the Think Academy, we created a uh, robotics lab there, uh, inclusive of the same kind of equipment, both robotic and PLC that we use here in the plant. Could you tell us a little bit more about the, the relationship with Think Academy, some of the things that come from, from Think? Absolutely. Uh, what comes from Think is a variety of really uh, impressive young people. Uh, young people pursuing careers not only in automotive manufacturing and maintenance, 
but also uh, uh, other local um, initiatives such as medicine, uh, nursing to be precise, as well as uh, gaming okay. and uh, food service. Perfect, perfect. Now, Think is a little bit different in that it's, it's like a high school connected with a college, right? Technical it, college, is that... That's that's a very good analogy, uh, very accurate. Yes, uh, uh, actually, uh, high school students come there for the uh, either first or second half of their day to uh, look more at a specific curriculum. Okay. Okay. Great. We toured Think many years ago, and we're really excited about maybe trying to come back down later this fall and take a tour of Think again. I know that you guys have been really engaged in helping support that. Um, cause, cause you gotta, you, you gotta grow your talent. You know, I, I, that's one of the things, one of the main reasons that we're on this book tour is that, um, man, it's every manufacturer that we talk to, they, they tell us that, you know, there's three big issues that manufacturers bring to us and say, this is what we're working on. Number one is workforce. Number two is believe it or not, um, uh, business development. A lot of companies, you know, a lot of the industrial companies that we work with over the years that use trade shows. Is, is their prime one of their primary methods of marketing and those went away for about a year and we're getting them back you know um, um, you know and so so those are those are two of the big areas um, and then the third is supply chain and so so those tend to be the three hot topics that folks uh, want to talk about and part of the reason we're doing this book tour right now is one is to to recognize you guys and the folks that helped made make this book a reality so we appreciate Kia stepping up to to, to play a part in that. Uh, but also to address some of the challenges that manufacturers are facing because of workforce. And and so we want to, we know that that the market's shifting a little bit and we're trying to get, you know, uh, some of the jobs that were out there previously are are gone and not going to come back, you know. I mean, some of the, uh, you know, restaurant, you know, the hospitality industry and even retail. But now what we want to do is we want to attract those folks to manufacturing. And when when we can come out and we can show how cool manufacturing is, that's part of the draw that we're trying to get folks in. So if somebody was considering manufacturing as a potential career path, could you share with us what your experience has been in manufacturing? Well, my experience uh, when I started in manufacturing compared to right now is just uh, 180 degrees. Okay. Okay. Uh, when I first started, our uh, department of uh, eight people had uh, three computers, and the computers were about the size of the chair I'm sitting in here. <laughs> Uh, looking at the speed now that we uh, do business and we implement change, whether it's engineering change, whether it's a production schedule change, it's really remarkable compared to when I first started. Really, really. So, so when people think about manufacturing, a lot of times I hear people talk about you know manufacturing is that dirty, dangerous, dead end job that you do when you can't do something else. What, what do you what do you say to those folks? Well, I say to those folks, just come out and take a tour of our plant, okay? Nice. Because uh, again, uh, what amazes so many people in the community, uh, for example, if they're young people want to get into manufacturing, you know, uh, many people in the community have a perception, like you said, of a dirty, dark, uh, uh, very stuffy factory. Uh, ours is anything uh, except that or everything, I should say, except Mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, the floors are clean enough. If you drop something on them, you could uh, eat off of them. (laughs) Yes, you could. People people often ask me, are we building automobiles or microchips here? (laughs) Yep, yep, yep. Well, I tell you, that's one of the reasons that we do as many tours and have done as many tours over the years is because the more we can get people to come out and see what's going on, really see what manufacturing is about, it changes their perspective of it. And, and you know, man, I am, I am so thankful that you had the opportunity to come out and hang out with us for a little bit, tell a little bit about your story. And um, uh, any, anything you'd like to share beyond what we've talked about so far? i just like to reinforce what you said about workforce development. It is a key, I think. Uh, and a duty uh, of ours uh, to our community. And uh, we've reaped some very uh, uh, good reward uh, from that effort, okay, with uh, most recently uh, uh, bringing in uh, some uh, maintenance uh, uh, professionals into uh, our factory that started out uh, through uh, the Think Academy. Uh, as well as uh, continued workforce development as we move towards, as we discussed earlier, electrification. So we really look forward to that uh, continuation 
with our uh, local partners. Perfect. Well, Chris, thank you again so much. It's been a been another great day at GMA. I really appreciate your time being part of this uh, this tour series, and we look forward to seeing you hopefully at an upcoming tour. It's been our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.